What's up, Bike Number fans? I just got the all new Altegra R8100 group in, took it out for the first ride yesterday, and am kind of blown away by how fast and smooth this thing shifts. Riding along, you barely touch the button, and it's like already shifted for you. Like it's almost like precognition. It's wildly fast. So, of course, next thing we have to do is take it into the lab, put it on the stand, and actually run through the gears and show you just how fast it is, both manually shifting normal tapping it as fast as you can and then just letting it run through on auto shift by holding the button down. We get a little bit of slow-mo in here so you can see some of the things on how the chain transitions. And when you see just how fast this front and derailleur goes back and forth between the chain rings, I think your mind's gonna be blown like mine was. So let's go in and take a look. The new 12-speed road groups are the first time Shimano has unveiled both Durace and Altegra at the same time. And the first time they've released these groups without a mechanical cable actuated counterpart. These are electric only and use wireless shifters with both derailleurs connected to a battery in the seat post. Both the front and rear derailleurs have dramatically smaller motor housings, which makes them a lot sleeker, yet every bit as fast and powerful. The cassettes get Hyperguide Plus for the first time on the road with shaping on the cogs and chain to enable faster shifts both up and down. Here's what it looks like shifting one cog at a time, going up and down the cassette. It may not look that impressive in the stand, but what you can't see is how instantaneous each shift is. There's barely any perceptible delay between pressing the button and a shift happening. Next, you'll see how fast it moves the chain up and down the cassette with me pressing the shifter as fast as I can, one click at a time. Ready? Don't blink. I clocked it at 2.63 seconds to go up the cassette and 2.77 seconds to go back down it. It's slightly slower when holding the shifter for the duration. I timed it at 3.13 seconds going up and 3.73 seconds going back down it. Here it is again, clicking it as fast as I can in both directions. It's anywhere from a half second to a full second faster if you can tap the button really quickly. And here's holding down the shift buttons as the derailleur multi-shifts through the entire cassette. A little known fact is that Shimano has had micro trim function on the rear derailleur since the dawn of DI2. They just never talked about it. If you watch closely, you'll see the rear derailleur overshift slightly to ensure a complete, secure shift, then pull back a bit for proper chain alignment, mimicking what we've all done with mechanical shifting by pushing the lever just a bit extra. The front derailleur speed is equally impressive. It also has an impressive automatic trim function. Watch here as it makes the proper movement to execute the shift, then trims into position for the best possible chain clearance. Now, watch as it trims in real time as I shift the rear up and down the cassette. Note how it's making continuous adjustments to avoid any chain rub. And lastly, note how the auto trim goes in the other direction when the chain is on the largest rear cog. Let's watch from the side and get ready to have your mind blown by how fast it can move back and forth between the chain rings without getting muddled up. Let's go a little faster. And a little faster. And even faster. Right? Here it is in slow motion. Notice how quickly the chain settles in on the big chain ring, even when the chain is bouncing. Under more tension, like when you're out riding for real as opposed to just spinning it in the stand, there should be much less chain bounce. And as you can see here, these other two shifts get full engagement immediately. Setup and adjustments are easier than ever. Just hold the button on the rear derailleur until it turns from blue to yellow, then use the shifters to make micro adjustments in either direction, on either the front or the rear derailleur. Once you finish, just press the button again and it'll turn back to blue so you know you're out of adjustment mode. Check the full post on Bike Rumor for more setup tips directly from Shimano's tech reps. The shift paddles are a bit bigger and easier to use by feel, especially with full finger gloves on. 
and the button configuration is fully customizable directly from their new app. Hey, thanks for watching. If you want more great tech videos and reviews, give this one a thumbs up and smash that subscribe button. Until next time, keep the rubber side down.